So what actually is the plural of octopus? Because a lot of people say it's octopi, but others say it's wrong. The logic is sound. Octopus does come from Latin, and a lot of Latin words ending with U.S. are pluralized by changing that U.S. into an I. Alumnus to alumni, cactus to cacti, etc. But that's only true of Latin words of the second declension. Octopus is of the third declension, originally coming from ancient Greek, where the plural would be octopodes. But hang on a second, we don't typically use Greek suffixes in our plurals in English. Like, it's not like we say gastropodes, we say gastropods, because we use the English suffix even though it's an originally Greek word. And so similarly, you shouldn't use the Greek suffix at the end, you should use the English one. So it's not octopodes, it's octopuses. And sure enough, if you look this up online, most sources will tell you octopuses. But many will still say that octopi is correct. Why? At the end of the day, language is what we make of it. If enough people use octopi as the plural, then octopi is the plural. Did you know that the past tense of dig used to be digged? That's right, it even shows up in the King James Bible. But enough people started using the variant term dug that dug ended up winning out as the standard form. A similar story happened with the word sister, whose plural used to be sistren, but no one uses that anymore. And so just as you're not wrong for using the term sisters, a new plural form, instead of the old form, sistren, you wouldn't necessarily be wrong for using octopi instead of octopuses. As long as you're understood, use whatever plural suffix you want. My personal favorite is octopodes because its alternate pronunciation sounds awesome. Octopodes.